A wonder is something, an object, a place, a creature, phenomena, and more than anything else, an experience that prompts us to think and feel, wow. Sometimes obvious, big and loud, other times quiet or small, we must pay close attention to notice the elegance of a snail trail glistening on the sidewalk. Wonder Hunt is a grand adventure of the everyday. It's a book, a game, and a way to see things in new ways, to marvel at the world around us. Your mission, to notice how interesting everything is, to seek and find wonders while playing an epic game of bingo and reflecting on your findings in this field journal. I'm Lee Redmond, an artist and writer in Oakland, California, and I make things that encourage people of all ages to be playful, curious, and kind. So there are seven wonders of the world, right? No doubt, these things are awesome. They spark awe. But what about our actual everyday lives? I don't know if I'll ever make it to Machu Picchu. I don't want to wait for wonder, to delay delight. So I look for small wonders, like finding a penny with my birth year on it, or a tiny piece of sea glass, someone replacing a lost button, or making tortillas, the exquisite pattern of honeycomb. Don't you just love it when the signal switches to walk right when you arrive at the corner? So instead of the seven wonders of the world, I like to think of the infinite wonders of everywhere, anywhere. I've put together a treasure hunt of 500 for you here, but really this is just to get you going. First things first, this adventure is not about collecting objects or actual things, but rather experiences, moments. It is a playful structured invitation to open our eyes again and again. The point of finding something wonderful is to engage, participate, observe, and contemplate not necessarily to keep. The point is to care. It's how to play. This treasure hunt takes place in 20 themed chapters. You can seek the wonders in any order, playing all the chapters at once if you like. You can set the level of challenge by playing each chapter for bingo or blackout. Your treasures are unlikely to look just like the ones I've illustrated. I encourage you to be playful and creative with what counts and to savor the specificity. Are your dominoes being played like this or this? Do they have dragons on the back? Are your collard greens in a garden or a skillet? Maybe your birch bark is woven. Do you find a crossword being done in pencil or the audacity of pen? A fancy knot could be on a boat, a friendship bracelet, or a pretzel. What kind of migrating animal will you look for? If you see some fingerless gloves and want to count them as the mitten, it's fine by me. It's up to you. If it doesn't snow where you live, you could find a snowball in a snow cone or a snowflake in a window. Maybe you see pomegranate seeds at a friend's house and a cake being decorated in a bakery window. Or maybe you see both at once for a double. Some of the items will be easy to find and plentiful, like lemons here in Oakland. Others might require more of a search, and a lot of this depends on where you live and what you do with your days, who you are, your cultural background, age, local ecology, and more. I encourage you to get creative. If a real live bison is out of the question, try to find an old buffalo nickel. If you don't want to wait to stumble upon silver dollar pancakes, make your own. Curious about papyrus and ancient paper? Visit a museum. When you find a wonder, celebrate with a sticker and mark the item as found on that chapter's bingo board. But don't stop there. Linger longer. Get close. Notice the details of the particular version of the wonder you have found. What make it special? If it hasn't happened yet, this is when the ordinary can become extraordinary, right before your eyes. It's the pausing to give it a think to give it a feel, to get curious, and write something down in the log. Holding a sea urchin shell, you might notice that the texture feels kind of like braille, and that might make you wonder what a sea urchin would say or write if it could. Or maybe this is writing, and humans just don't know how to read it. Or you might wonder what this creature looked like when it was alive, and you might do a little research. For the acorn, I might wonder how chipmunks keep track of the location of their nut stashes underground. If you like, make your wonder hunt social playing collaboratively or competitively. The book explains how.